Yeah, we're just talking to her. No, you're beating up her. Beating her up. <laughs> we're back again to play some games. It is Sunday, which means it's Sunday Seduction, a series on my channel where I play a random romance game. And today we're playing the demo of I Can See You. And so the creator of this game actually reached out to me and brought the game to my attention. And it is a horror, a Tome game. <laughs> and I don't do well with horror actually. Like <laughs> I actually love watching people play horror games. But I don't play them. So, this will be interesting. And hopefully, I'm hoping that I don't get scared in the first part. I'm only going to play the beginning of this game. And hopefully, there's no jump scares. Because it did warn me about jump scares. I'm scared. <laughs> anyway, let's jump in. So, before we start, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my social media. It's always description below, and we can get started. Golly, I'm scared. Uh, Kelsey High School. New year, new school. I can't say I'm excited for this one too. Changing school has become a part of my routine for as long as I can remember. Are your parents like military? They go around different places? Most people never like me. Dang. I never make friends. Golly. It's not so weird to think that the problem might be me. After changing school for more than 10 years, I mean, 10, 10 times. I mean, it's hard to make friends when you move around a lot, so. If only I could blend in, but that's impossible when you have different colored eyes. <sighs> my eyes, they're my real life curse. Is this voice acted? Besides standing out from the crowd and attracting the attention of bullies, there's also the supernatural effect of it. You can see ghosts, golly. I'm a descend descendant from the great Yoshida clan. There are tons of legends surrounding my family's history. One of them turns out to be true. Or one of them turns out to be true. Unfortunately for me, the Yoshida were a noble warrior clan indeed, but besides slaying humans, they also slayed monsters. Are y'all cursed? Is a family curse? Some of these yokai were mostly human spirits that were bound to our domain. The mythology monsters have gone... The mythological monsters have gone stink since then, instinct since then. But humans keep dying and some of them still have stubborn deeds to fill in order to leave our universe. This artwork is very cute. Um... Thanks to my heritage, I was born born with a yokai sight. This means I have been seeing spirits and scary monsters since I was an infant. The only person that believes me is my dad, as he heard stories from his grandfather that were passed by his grandfather about this bizarre ability. He says that they can't harm me and that I should just ignore them, but nobody talks about the emotional part of this phenomenon. So many regrets. So much revenge. So much sadness. Even now and then, I spot one of them. But they're not easy to tell apart, unless their souls corrupted, and their desires have taken a morbid shape. Of course, nobody believes that weird kid who talks about spirits and has an abnormal single blue eye. Oh, but it's cute. Uh, but I should probably listen to mom. Things might be different this time. I mean, it's my first time going to a mixed school. Mixed. What do you mean by that? Oh, cause, uh, co-ed? Yeah, let me save real fast. And then it starts. The curious looks from the unfamiliar faces I pass the corridor, looking for my classroom. Some people look at me intrigued, and others fire me with judging looks. Have you looked at her eyes? Why is she wearing one with lenses? She's very pretty. Go to him. Go talk to him. Go talk to him. I feel anxious and nervous. All eyes on me. 
I heard she came from abroad. As I navigate, as I navigate through the crowd, I see the bathroom sign and enter it without hesitation. Uh, I need to calm down. Don't go into the last stall. Let me just wash my face and take a breath. I've heard horror stories, horror stories about the last stall. As I submerge my face in the sink, I feel, no, don't do that. Because when you come back up, there might be somebody behind you. As I submerge, submerge my face into the sink, I finally feel at peace. Oh, no. Already? Uh, silence. If only I could stay in this peaceful mind for a while. And y'all got the water in my ears. Let me turn it up. Oh, no, it was a bad idea. All my worries, I put on hold for a second. Until it's finally time to re-merge to life again. I can't move. Golly, already. It's only been six minutes. I can't move. I can't move. I start panicking as I realize I'm running out of breath. I need air. Okay, we're good. Suddenly, I gain control back and re-emerge from the water. What was that? I look around, trying to find the culprit, but see no one. Is that what they call the power of the mind? I clean my face and let out a sigh. Calm down, Aya. As I try to slow my heart rate, I hear something. Don't you dare say a word. It's coming from one of the stalls. Better not be the last stall. I didn't even notice there were people here. I get closer and get a view of two girls cornering a girl inside the bathroom stall. They're in the last stall. Their posture is very tense, while the girl sitting on the toilet is calm. Almost too calm. Pretty much emotionless. There's a girl looking out the window who hasn't said a thing. I can't see her face from behind. Uh, she looks beautiful. I hide next to, I hide next to the stall to analyze the situation. You gonna stand up to her? Mm. Are they bullying her? The pretty girl turns and walks towards the girl in the stall. <laughs> I can't look at your face. It's disgusting how you managed to pull Kai with such a weird face. I mean, it's alright. What's wrong? The black haired girl stays quiet, looking at the floor. One of the other girls pokes her violently. Hey Haruki, Hana Senpai's talking to you. What do you want me to say? That I agree with you? All the girls tend to be surprised. Rude. Suddenly the one of them slaps the quiet girl, throwing her at the wall behind her. Uh, the other two seem to be in shock. Mako, stop! How dare you use such a tone to talk back to Hana? Both girls are late to grab their friend. It looks like she's going to hit her again. Chill out. I can't stay put. I should do something. Um... No, let's confront. I get closer and put myself in front of the quiet girl in the stall. Stop it. Why are you doing this? The aggressive girl freezes in place. Why do you look so scared? Calm down. All of them look shocked. Do what? Yeah, we're just talking to her. No, you're beating up her. Beating her up. <laughs> no, we weren't. The pretty girl seems to analyze me in a second. She flips a strand of hair and turns to leave. <laughs> After all, animals don't talk back. Come on, girls. I think our business business is finished here. Whatever. All of them laugh and leave. Bullies. The girl in the stall cleans her face and shyly looks at me. So everybody missed that I was drowning in the sink? Like, were, were they already in, in here already? I guess so. Um, sh she shyly looks at me. 
This look on her forehead, probably probably from being thrown at the wall. Golly. So who's this Kai that they're fighting you about? I promise you it was never that important. They need to chill. Um, her eyes look wa wet, but her face does not seem sad at all. Thank you. Her features are those from a traditional beauty point. If she doesn't look so worn down, she would be a real-life Yamato Nadashiko. I wonder who that is. I gotta look it up. I noticed I was looking at her for far too long when she started getting up to get things that were on the floor. Uh, it's nothing. I'm Aya Yoshida. Yoroshiku. It's a pleasure to meet you. She stops gathering her things and bows to me as well. Mizuno? Haruki Mizuno. Nice to meet you too. She picks up her school bag and turns to me. Look, I don't need you to pity me. I'm aware that I went through the same. She looks surprised. Six months ago, before my parents decided to move here, I let out a sigh. I don't pity you, Mizuno-san. I just had enough and can't stand by just watching it happen again. She looks away. Mm. You're new here. Yeah, you want to be my friend? Friends for life, BFF. Um, what's your classroom? I check my notes on my phone. Hey, what was that wallpaper? Uh, class one, th one three. Teacher Midori Sakura. Okay, okay. According to my notes, it's classroom one three. Her face brightens suddenly. Same class. I'm also in that one. But is the bully girl in there? Hana. Uh, the bell rings, letting us know that class was about to start. If this is a horror story. I hope Hana gets got first. Bell rings, letting us know the class is about to start. Haruki grabs my arm and pulls me for a run. Let's go. Hey. By the way, that bathroom was beautiful. I like that bathroom. As I enter the school, I mean, as I enter the room, everybody starts looking at us. Musical lets go of my arm and goes to the most distant desk near the window. There's a free desk on the other side in the same row. So I go straight to it. The teacher arrives and introduces herself. Hold on. Hey. Um, yeah, your name's Sakura, right? After organizing all her stuff, she gets up with a list on her hands. It's time for a morning call. Whenever I call your name, please raise your hand. Yes, ma'am. Yoshida Aya. That's me. I raise my hand. After inspecting her list, she inspects me next. Aya, my notes tell me you're new to Kyosai. Yeah. She turns to everyone. It's okay. For the record, all of them are new to me as well. I hope you have a successful path in our school. Arigato. Thank you, Sensei. Uh, she proceeds to continue with the morning call. As I wait for her to finish, I start drawing the stall for time. I oh, see so you're an artist, I see. After it ends, a short girl with tan skin raises her hand and the teacher gives her permission to address the class. Konnichiwa. What's good, Yoriko? Hello everyone, my name is Yoriko. Bagan? Ba -ba Bagang? And I'm your class re representative. Um, as you know, part of the school life is integrating communities with the same tastes or talents as you. We have lots of clubs prepared to welcome you all this year. Please join one as it will allow you to make many friends and gather amazing experiences. No, I don't want to join any clubs. I'm going I'm to go home. The go home club. That's me. Thank you, Oriko san Now. Sensei, I haven't finished yet. I was surprised at how spontaneous and confident she was being. Like she owned the classroom. She probably did, as she was class rep. I'm also the vice president of the manga club. Okay, okay, okay. I'll join that. I'll join that. What are we, what are we reading? 
Does anyone like to draw or just enjoy the art of it? I do. <laughs> oh, you look a little mischievous in the face. I bet there's some of you who have manga inside your school bags. No, I didn't carry anything. Yuriko. The speech was suddenly... I mean, Yuriko. The speech was supposed to be only about... Sensei. But since I'm here, might as well promote my own club. It's not your club, though. Isn't Sato the president? Man, be quiet, boy one. Well, I'm part of it, dummy. So it is my club. Uh, she's... Oh, you got a little angry. Uh, she suddenly turns white as, she remind, as she's reminded that they're still in the classroom. The teacher lets out a sigh. Well, looks like your promotion wasn't so successful, Yuriko. But there must be someone who can join us. I mean, I guess. I like manga or whatever. Uh, one of the girls gets up and tries to take her back to her place. Thank you, Yuriko, for the very long speech. Yuriko sits next to me and looks annoyed. She notices me looking at her, then proceeds to look at my notebook. Uh, she looks surprised for a moment, but focuses on class. You see the art skill? You see the art skill? Yeah. Um, after some time, class finally comes to an end. Yuriko comes to my desk right away. The manga club is the right club for you, new girl. Mm. You think? Haruko approaches us too. Konnichiwa. Oh, hi Haruki. Haruki smiles and stays quiet. So? My drawings are not that much of a big deal. You have potential! Come on! She looks like a sad puppy. <gasps> Golly! It's hard being the only girl in that stupid club. She looks disgusted for a moment. It's horrible and it smells like men. I need you. Maybe it's just not her thing. Yuriko, drop it. Mangas were the only thing that kept me company while I was alone during school time. Inspired by my favorite mangaka, I too drew some friends. Eventually, I even got good at it, but I've never thought of it that way. Actually, it is my thing. Both look surprised with a serious response. With my serious response. So you gonna join? For a change, I might enter your club. Bangang-san. Bangang-san. Um, Yoriko gives me the weirdest smile, the widest smile, and grabs me by my hands. Really? You're gonna love it. Oh, weren't you saying it was the worst? Yoriko looks sassy for a split second. It's better if she's in there. The next teacher enters the classroom, and we get to our places again. I'm feeling anxious about this club thing. Why did I say I would join? Our math class has finished. As I'm still finishing taking notes of what the teacher had written on the blackboard, Haruki, Haruki approaches me. Hey. Mitsuno, I'm still finishing these. No problem. I was going to ask if you want to have lunch on the rooftop. Is the best place in school. You have access to the rooftop? Sure. Let me just... Great. I'll see you there. As long as there's nothing scary up there. Haruki waves and leaves the room with her bento box. We could have waited. I'm almost finishing. Or she could have waited. I'm almost finished. Yoshida. Yoshida. I'm going to have lunch with the, with the manga club. Do you want to come with me? Oh, Haruki already invited me to have lunch on the rooftop. Really? It's okay. Well, here's the map I drew just now for you, so you never miss the manga club. <laughs> if you have free time after lunch, feel free to step by. Stop by. Thank you a lot, Bangang. Bangang san. That won't do. Call me Yuriko. 
I smile and bow slightly to her. You're nice, but you have anger issues. She waves and departs as well. Oh God, why can't I write faster? I mean, not uh, not uh, not anger anger issues. She's very passionate about manga. That <laughs> she gets emotional. Um, and she doesn't like the people in her club, at least the guys. Oh God, why can't I write faster? Okay, we, we 23 minutes and then no horror. Thank goodness. Even though that's probably like one of the best parts of the game, the actual horror part. I'm scared. After destroying all my stuff, I head to the rooftop as planned. Now, who was you, Kai? Are you Kai? Um, but to my surprise, Haruki was already accompanied by a boy. She had finished her lunch and was scrolling through her phone. He was sitting by her. Are you a friend? or foe. As they were too far from me, Haruki, did, Haruki didn't notice me standing by the door. Suddenly, the boy looks towards me. What's good? Kai? I became startled. I can't see very clearly, but he looks very beautiful from a distance. I start to blush immediately and decide to leave. They're probably dating. I don't want to interrupt anything. I should leave her alone for now. I mean, at least make yourself... Yeah. You could have said hi. I think this is the place. The manga club. Or am I reading this map upside down? Suddenly, the door in front of me opens. Leaving the room, a very clumsy boy panics as he encounters me. <laughs> Calm down. You scared me. Who is it, Kenji? I'm not even scary. Calm down. Oh. <laughs> a girl. He turns to me as our eyes meet. He turns even more red. Did I make you nervous? He looks at the floor and covers his face with the door. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. Scary cat. You can't talk to girls or something? You a weenie? Is this the manga club? He starts mumbling something. I don't quite understand. Speak with your chest. Speak with your chest. Back straight. Another bow of glasses appears and opens the door. Konnichiwa. What's good, glasses? Um, hello, calm down. Hello, sorry for that. That's what I'm saying. He slaps his friend's head. How may we help you, miss? Sorry for the inconvenience. Is this the manga club? Uh, it doesn't. He doesn't answer. He just hums me. I hate that. He then starts to make sense out of the situation. Wait, you're the new member that Yurika recruited in her class, aren't you? The boy was very serious. Became the boy who was very serious became much warmer after providing me with a big smile. Please come in. You gotta bear some good manga in here. Calm down. The boy with glasses sat down next to the laptop, and the red boy sat and held a waifu pillow, trying to avoid looking at me. The room was medium sized and had bookcases filled with various manga and statues. Uh, there was some anime merchandising decorating the walls. Some art supplies were on the main table, and some plushies were on the small couch where another boy was sitting. Hey, what you reading? <laughs> I was drawn to him as he has such beautiful dark features. Ah, uh, I bet he's reading trash, trash. I was drawn to him. Yeah, yeah, dark features. He had the most perfect curls I'd ever seen. Unfortunately, he was very focused on reading a manga and didn't even bother to look back at me. I suppose you came here to meet Yuriko. Yes, she told me to come by. Unfortunately, she left to return some books to the library, but she'll be back in a minute. Okay. I can wait. Uh, you, you look a little like Harry Potter in the face. He pulls a chair for me to sit. Thank you. 
a quiet silence sets in. Golly, tomato. Uh, the red boy keeps staring me, staring me without blinking, while the boy with glasses shifts attention to his laptop. Jace, this feels uncomfortable. Are we gonna wait in silence? Let's talk about something. What's y'all favorite manga? What's y'all least favorite manga? Um, what'd y'all have for lunch? Uh, what your parents do? Maybe I should do some small talk until Yoriko comes back. Exactly. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Aya Yoshida. What are your names? Both boys look at each other with a surprised face. Maida Sato. He stands up and gives me an elegant bow. I'm the current president of the manga club. Nice to meet you, Yoshida. As he finishes, he returns his attention to his laptop. I smile and look at the red boy who was still staring at me, creating some uneasiness in me. Do I have something on my face? Why does he look so scared? Chill. I'm a chill person. What's your face? Just talk to me. <laughs> that's Baka. <laughs> um, that's Baka Kun. His surname is also Baka. Her dearest secretary, Baka Baka. The red boy throws a waifu pillow at the other boy who starts laughing and loses his stiff posture for some seconds. There we go. Uh, he's joking. That's not my name. Are you sure? Cause you sure are acting foolish. Talk to me. He lets out a sigh and avoids eye contact with me. I'm Kenji. Honda Kenji. Hondo? No, Honda. Yeah, Honda. Uh, I give him a, res a reassuring smile. <laughs> And that's Haru over there. Okay, Haru, I see you. Uh, he points to where the other dark skinned boy was sitting. He kind of tall. He doesn't like being bothered when he's waiting. So if you need anything, talk to me or Kenji. Kenji looks away with a concerned face. I bow to all of them. And the boy sitting in the sofa looks surprised when I bow to him as well. Still surprised, he proceeds to ignore me by stuffing his face in the manga. Are you a little shy too? Yeah, Talk good. to me. Nice being you all. Suddenly, Sato closes his laptop in a second and inspects me. This startles me. Uh, can I help you? Can I have my face back? Um, may I ask why you decided to join our club? You know, I like manga. I like drawing. What's her face? Wants me to join. And I'm trying to make friends, so... Yeah, that's why I'm here. Not even I knew the exact answer. Uh, but eventually I decided to give it a try and put it into words. My favorite manga is Cadet Sun. Uh, there were tough times in my life. And it was the only thing that kept me sane. Okay. I felt inspired by his mangaka and started drawing. <laughs> Sorry, I keep moving around a lot. And start. It's really hot in my room right now. I can't open the window because there's just smoke outside because of fires. Um, and started drawing how my perfect life would be. Uh, then Bang. That's her name. That's her name again. I forgot her name. <laughs> then Bagang San. Saw my drawing during class and approached me. She can be very persuasive, so here I am. She can be, but Yuriko only sniffs good talent. <laughs> Hence why we're all standing here. Let me see all drawing skills. Show me, right now. On the desk, draw. Suddenly he sounded a lot more confident before. Yoshida, do you have drafts of your story? I would love to read them. You know, maybe I should leave. I don't like that right there. I'm not feeling that one bit. Oh, such a little laugh. 
You should either don't trust Kenji, Kenji to give you valuable, valuable feedback regarding stories. The only type of manga he reads are etchies, and that's very telling. It is. Uh, why did you have to say that? And, and there are good stories in etchies too. Rarely. I read etchies for the story. I blush a little as I never pictured me drawing that type of genre. Genre. All of a sudden, the door was stomped open. Yuriko entered, entered the club with an angry face. What's wrong? As soon as she sees me, her face lines up. Golly, the switch. <laughs> Yoshida! She drops her heavy school bag on Sato's lap and hugs me tightly. Girl, we just saw each other not too long ago. Like 10 minutes ago. What'd you hugging me for? Are you okay? Uh, she starts uh, checking me, removing any dust laying on my uniform. Then puts on a sad face while holding my hands. Please don't give up on our club. I know they can be a pain in the arse, but bear with me, please. <laughs> Here we go. I'm alright. I'm not going to quit. Kenji looks hurt. You're a crybaby. <laughs> Why can't you ever trust this vice president? Because you smell like feet. Golly. Is it true? Do you smell like that? Sato returns the bag to Ryoko and looks offended. Feet. I'm wearing a very expensive manly cologne. My father brought it back from France during one of his business trips. Oh uh, yeah, it probably smells like feet then. <laughs> Sato gun. Who knows? Just maybe. <gasps> maybe your father brought the cologne along with some French cheese in his luggage. You're just gonna let her talk to you like that? If I were you, I wouldn't take that kind of disrespect. Sato spikes his out for a second. Now that you mention it, he did. I brought that Frenchy cheese platter to the club weeks ago, remember? <laughs> the cheese platter? That must be it. It must be somewhere around here. <laughs> What'd you say? You didn't throw that away? Where'd you put it? Yuriko proceeds to help Kenji look for the source of the cheesy smell. Golly. They eventually find it laying behind one of the bookcases. Golly, who put it there? <laughs> Who put it there? Everyone pretends not to hear Yuriko. Cool. Maybe it was Haru. Yuriko seemed to be slightly surprised by his mention. Haru pays attention to the situation, but chooses to refocus on his manga, ignoring everything as usual. She looks outside and massages her face. She then turns to Kenji and places the stinky platter on his hands. Get rid of it. Kenji bows and proceeds to leave. On his way, he slips on one of the mangas that were on the floor, and the cheese platter comes in my direction. Dodge! Ah! Stop yelling. Dodge. He let out a scream as, <laughs> as he guessed what was going to happen next. I close my eyes and prepare for impact, but suddenly a plushie comes floating from across the room and it hits the platter, shifting its direction. Uh, who did that? It falls on the wall instead, and some tiny pieces of cheese fly directly to my clothes. All of them are in shock. Yurika comes to my help and tries to examine my uniform. Yeah, that cheese is definitely where the feet smell comes from. Yoshida, I'm so sorry. Now you're definitely gonna leave us. She looks like she's about to cry. She proceeds to throw a tantrum like a little kid and gives a deadly look to the boys. All this is because of you! Leave me out of this! You're the one who told me to get rid of it. I mean, yeah, I supposed to get rid of it. And did you? Uh, Sato lets her sigh. At least she's not hurt. Yeah, what, but what stopped it from hitting me? You're alright, right? I nod affirmatively. Affirmatively. 
I didn't get hurt, but I feel disgusted, to say the least. But things could be worse. About that. How didn't you get hurt? That's what I'm saying. I saw it flying in your direction. I saw it flying as well. Um, did a yokai help? I don't know. What happened? I saw it flying in your- yeah. I saw it flying in your direction. Did somebody stop it? However, the mysterious boy sitting on the sofa was standing with a worried look. I noticed that the plushie on the floor was the one that was previously standing by him. Did he save me? You got reflexes like that? It was Haru. The plushie was on the sofa. He was there and threw it to protect her. <laughs> That's Haru for you, everyone. Uh, but Yuriko and Kenji became quiet. Sato approaches me with an elegant stance. Uh, he shows his hand, which reveals a handkerchief. Chief. Please use this to clean yourself in the bathroom. The handkerchief looks very expensive and high quality. Mm. But I don't want to stain it. It looks special, but he looks rich. So you can use them, sure. You can get another one. <laughs> he looks at a laugh. You need to stop with that creepy laugh. Exactly, what's saying? He looks rich. Oh please, I have like 50 handkerchiefs back home. Who do you think I am? The rich boy? He must come from a very wealthy family. That's what I'm saying. Thank you. Want me to come with you? I'm good. <laughs> Actually, come with me. Come with me. I forgot this is a horror story. There's no need. I'll be back. Um, I leave the manga club and go straight to the bathroom. I use Sato's uh, handkerchief to rub the dirty parts of my uniform. If something scary happens right now, I'm 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 done. Honestly, I really hope something scary happens right now. I think it'd be a perfect hook um, to get you hooked into the game. The piece of cheese eventually comes off. It's done. Huh? Oh no. I was just talking. I try to open the door, but it won't budge. <laughs> Behind the door, I hear some laughter. Did someone lock me inside? Oh no. <laughs> the lights are flickering with... <sighs> the lights start flickering, which gives me the chills. This is not funny. Oh, the one thing about me is that when I get scared, I do not scream, okay? I am not a screamer. I can gasp, but I usually just flinch and look away. That's my jump scare. That's my scream. Could this be a prank from the manga club? No. Suddenly I hear a familiar voice from behind the door. It's freaking Hana. The heck? This is for meddling with other people's business. Girl, I'll beat you. In fact, I will. After I get out of here, of course. Oh my god, Hana. Where'd you get the key? Daddy's office. Oh no, she's the principal's daughter. <laughs> I hear their laughter getting further and farther from the door. <laughs> they locked me in they locked me on purpose. Is it for is it revenge for helping Haruki? I back away from the door and fall to the floor. I thought things were starting off fine. But we're back to the same as before. They're targeting me from now on, just like the other girls. So I'll make sure my life becomes like hell. Until I move out again. I start crying. I rub my eyes and get up to wash my face in the sink. What? Oh no, I'm stressed. That's why I feel so behind me, even though there's nothing in the reflection of the mirror. I need to be sure. I don't want to do this, but there's no helping it. I turn the face to the saw behind me. That's why I see it. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, that's not bad. Not too scary. Uh, but there are jump scares, so 
a shadow figure was indeed behind me, observing from one of the stalls. It's okay, it's okay, I got you, Aya. I move away from it until I bump into the sink. I fall back to the floor and embrace myself. No, stay away. I close my eyes. But nothing happens. See you good, I got you. I hear a windy sound and suddenly I can't feel its presence anymore. Me good, see? I decide to open my eyes. It's not here anymore. I can't hear the door, I mean I can hear the door unlocking itself. I get closer to the door and try to open it. Just as I suspected, the door is no longer locked. I don't get it. The ghost helped you. It was coming for me. Did it? Did it set me free? A couple of girls stared at me while entering the bathroom. Mind your business. Are you all right, miss? Never mind. They're nice. I nodded affirmatively. I nodded and ran away from the bathroom. As I pass through the hall, I look for the spirit, but there's nothing but ordinary people around me. Of course I would assume it want to hurt me. That's what I'm most familiar with. But my judgment was probably wrong. It probably won't hear me, but it needs to be said. Thank you. Arigato. Thank you, Shadow-san. Yay. Almost stressed me out. And on that note, I think I'm going to end this because, um... I'm a scaredy cat. Thank you, Tammy, for telling me about your game. I really did enjoy this. And yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my social media. It's always description below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.